Alex, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about getting an extra hour of sleep. Yeah, so tonight the clocks are going to go 1.59, 1 o'clock. Wow. And uh, that's coming up here pretty fast. I yeah, mean, we're, we're talking about hours. three hours. Well, it depends how you count it, though, because yeah. we gain an hour. <laughs> exactly. or, I'm sorry, we lose. No, we gain an hour. <laughs> You're it's right. One of those <laughs> it's hard to keep track of that. All right, here we go. This camera is pointed towards the west. It's 50 degrees in Macon right now. We had it pointed towards the west because the sunset tonight was fantastic across central Georgia. Wind out of the north right now at about six miles an hour. Live radar is quiet for us here in central Georgia as you head out towards Statesboro, Claxton, closer to Savannah. Some rain from that coastal system we've been watching for honestly the past few days now. Temperatures across the region. Uh, we're talking about upper 40s, low 50s, 50 itself here in Macon, 48 already in Monroe County, 46 in Thomaston, 52 in Americus, 49 in Eastman, and 52 in Dublin and in Swainsboro. So there's this coastal system out here bringing rain to coastal South and North Carolina, parts of Georgia as well. 46 still in Jacksonville. I saw something earlier that said Savannah has been in the 40s since 10 a.m. Thursday. We're it's Saturday night now. Yeah, it is a cold evening out there. So here we go into tomorrow morning. The clouds making the exit now to the east. 48 in Warner Robins is what it's going to be around 8 a.m. Then as we head through the afternoon, temperature is going to warm up a bit more as we lose the cloud cover. So the radiation is able to get down in and warm up our temperatures. And they're going to do something similar on Monday as well. Could see some 30s on Monday. Monday morning. We'll be watching for a potentially a frost advisory across the region. And then as we get into the middle parts of the week, that's when the low temperatures will begin to warm up. And then some clouds begin to roll in. Here we go. Tuesday into Wednesday. Yeah, disturbance rolling over top of us. Not going to bring us any rain. It's not until Thursday where we start to watch potentially our next front. Notice the disparity here between the Euro and the GFS. The Euro has a lot more rain with our next front. The GFS not so much. Also the timing a little different. The Euro brings the bulk of it through Thursday night and the GFS brings it through Friday afternoon. So overall not a great rain chance just yet. That's going to go up as we head through the week as we get some finer tuned details on the timing. Now we were just talking about it. Daylight saving time ends tonight. The official change at 159.59. So sunrise tomorrow morning is going to be at 658 sunset is at 538 tomorrow and now is a good time if you, twice a year daylight saving time to replace batteries in your critical critical alarms like your smoke detector your carbon monoxide detector your weather radio twice a year it's a good time to do it so the overnight lows cooling off to 38 by monday and then here we go stair stepping those up tuesday wednesday and thursday eventually an overnight low thursday morning one degree cooler than the high temperature today, so it will be steadily warm back up. Overnight lows tonight, we're talking about 40s across the area. We could see a 30-something sprinkled in, but all in all, that's not too likely. Do have a frost advisory in effect up to our north and west tonight. Nothing here in central Georgia. And hey, eye on the tropics. Remember Tropical Storm Wanda? Yep, it's still out there, and it is moving towards Europe. Not going to be a concern for us here in central Georgia. The seven-day forecast is, shapes up like this. We are warming up all the way to Wednesday, 74 veterans. Day on Thursday, we're watching that front high temperature of 73. Connor Hines has been busy all day with college football. How's it going, Connor? Alex, yes, we have indeed. It was a busy day across the sport from Milledgeville out to Columbus and back. Oh, of course, Athens was in the mix as well. We've got you covered at every corner. Hey, everything you missed today, that's coming up next in sports.